I'll give an overview of a major addition to the Brain Simulator project, which adds functionality essential to AGI. After you watch this video, I encourage you to download the latest Brain Simulator release and try out these demonstrations for yourself. Also, subscribe to this channel and get notifications of future videos where I'll fill in the details. In broad terms, the human neocortex can be conceptualized in two parts. The back of your neocortex receives input from your various senses and is responsible for interpreting these into some sort of useful internal mental model. The front of the neocortex is responsible for planning what actions to take and taking them. The AGI model I'm implementing follows a similar pattern. This video focuses on the first half of AGI, perception, while implementation has already begun on the remainder. The brain simulator consists of a spiking neural simulator and a set of software modules which can be shortcuts to intelligent functionality. The most important software module is the Universal Knowledge Store, which can store and create relationships between any pieces of information it receives. Then it can search this information as needed. The UKS could be implemented entirely in spiking neurons, as I've shown in a previous video. Because of this, the concept of the UKS is biologically plausible, although some of the software shortcuts are not. One of the capabilities necessary to AGI is represented by the classic neural network exercise of being shown tagged images and then recognizing untagged images. The brain simulator approach to this exercise is significantly different. The associations between the tags and images builds up very rapidly so huge training sets are not needed. In this demonstration, the system converges on its result in as little as a single presentation of 12 images. The system has to resolve the ambiguity of seeing objects with multiple properties and tags and deciding which tag must apply to which property. With this untagged data set, you can see that not only has the system learned basic colors and shapes, but it can immediately recognize them in untagged examples regardless of their size, position, or orientation. Further, it can recognize multiple shapes within an image. See how the text of the system's inner monologue reflects the content of the object it is currently paying attention to. The next huge advance toward AGI is comprehending the relationships between objects. After a little more training, the system has a grasp of the abstract concepts of bigger and smaller, above and below, lighter and darker, etc. Here, the training data is not describing an individual object, but the relationship between two visible objects. There are many possible relationships, but to learn which are significant, the system simply stores them all and subsequently prunes away those which aren't useful. After just a single trip through the training examples, we can go to the untagged image and the system can detect that there is a red triangle, but now it also knows that it is bigger above and to the left and lighter than the blue square, which is smaller, below and to the right, and a bit darker, as reflected in the inner monologue. There is no limit to the number of different shapes, properties, relationships, and associations the system can represent, and I've just scratched the surface in this initial demonstration. Keep in mind that the powerful human brain requires years to be able to comprehend these simple relationships while a typical neural network would require many times through more training examples to recognize objects and might never grasp the relationships at all. In future videos, I'll show details of how the process works. This will introduce some interesting concepts like paying attention, building an internal mental model, and detecting object motion and differentiating it from a change in point of view. 
In the next major step toward AGI, I'll show the brain simulator controlling a robot to demonstrate how the UKS at Sensory Feedback can be harnessed to implement motor control, planning, and intention. I hope you enjoyed this quick demonstration and will subscribe, download the software, and participate in the Brain Simulator project. And as always, thanks for watching.